Fleeku and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I have posted a video, but things have been kind of hectic and busy. So rather than posting like, you know, my usual, I decided to put a vlog. It's been forever since I posted a vlog. Like I don't even remember the last time I filmed one. So it's kind of cool. Switch it up, you know? So cosplay wise, I went to Katsukon last month and I was supposed to film a vlog. I kind of forgot to film in a lot of scenarios that I probably should have and then others were just really inconvenient to film and I probably could have done a better job but I didn't so in lieu of the vlog I'm just going to post some stuff in here where you can kind of see footage that I took from you know the convention itself you can kind of see a little bit about the con floor uh, I don't know we did a lot of hanging out in different groups and stuff like that and if you follow me on Instagram you probably got a chance to see the Instagram live which unfortunately is no longer there and I wish you could save those but you can't for some weird reason I do have photos and stuff snaps and all that I took during the convention so you can check that out the costumes that I wore were Jessica Jones and Mara from Aquaman and I just did not get the chance to wear like the other two that I brought. Actually only wore two out of the four costumes that I brought. And that's because one night I started not feeling so well. And I pretty much just like slept for half of the day. So I definitely was not getting into costume after that. Fortunately, I recovered before the end of the convention. And uh, the following day is actually when I did Mara. And I'll post a couple of photos of that where you can see my friend did Aquaman, I did Mara. I do feel like there's things I want to change about the costume, kind of upgrade before I wear it again. But it was cool to wear, walk around. It was not so cool. Actually, it was exactly cool. It was freezing outside. So I tried to limit my time outside in that costume because it is paper thin and not fun <laughs> to be outside like that but hopefully i'll start getting back some of the footage and photos and stuff from the convention i've only seen like a couple so far and i will try to share those on the gram you know if you guys aren't following me on instagram by the way you should be it's at bleku on instagram just like everywhere else uh social media wise anyway the next convention i'll be at is momocon and that is here in atlanta georgia so i'm excited about that i'm gonna take new costumes to that one as well which I'm currently working on now that I've had my schedule to open up a little bit more I have time to actually work on them so I'm excited about that I don't know if I want to share what the costumes are going to be just yet but I usually am pretty good about posting progress and all of that on Instagram so follow along there if you want to see more about that next topic live streaming I do want to try to get into that some more I used to enjoy it and I just I guess I just got out of it because just so busy with everything else and I just didn't have the time to commit to that because you really do to be honest have to have like a long span of time when you want to live stream so I will try to do they'll be shorter streams but I feel like they'll be maybe a little better interesting I don't know just so here's my thing what I'd like to do is gaming stuff cosplay stuff or tech stuff I kind of want to mix it up and do a little bit of everything because I just I love gaming but I don't want to just specifically do gaming i want to do other stuff and being that i'm in the whole cosplay and tech thing and all of those i feel like would be really good for streaming purposes you guys let me know what do you want to see what would you rather see me do with the streaming uh i feel like i'm probably going to do gaming the most and then cosplay and tech are kind of going to be like half and half at least that's how i'm feeling right now but speaking of tech i do want to start a tech series here on youtube and you know i get a lot of questions sometimes when people ask me what type of equipment i use for certain things and i do have a lot of knowledge on the technical side of things so i kind of want to share that maybe if somebody else is interested in doing the stuff that i'm doing they can do it too I am not a person that feels like it's this big secret. I've never been that person. If I can help you, I'm totally going to. And hopefully this series of videos will be helpful to you guys out there if you want to do YouTube or anything else beyond. It's going to vary. I, I don't really know specifically what my videos are going to be, but I do think it's going to be something fun. It's going to be something new for me to take on that I haven't done before. If there's something in particular that you guys want to see, Please let me know down in the comment section 
and I will try to see what I can do about getting those videos up for you. I do also want to sprinkle in some cosplay videos too. One of the things I was thinking about doing is kind of like a pattern how-to tutorial-ish or just seeing my process because I don't go, I'm not gonna lie, I don't go directly from the pattern and the directions always. Now that I kind of have a little more knowledge than I did when I first started cosplaying, I mostly use the pattern to get the general shape of it and kind of go from there. One of the costumes that I'm working on, I'm thinking of trying to do a video to coincide with that and it requires a trench coat, which for some reason, is like ridiculously hard to find, at least the kind that I want for my costume. I mean, there's some out there, but I don't want to pay a whole lot of money for something I'm literally going to shred. So rather than do that, I've gone ahead, bought some fabric, and I picked up this pattern here. It's one of the Yaya Han patterns. So I'm looking forward to this. I have already used one of her patterns to make some boot covers. It was awesome and now like definitely a staple in my cosplay arsenal so i do want to try to film my progress and stuff as i'm making this mine of course is not going to be a leather type material but it's still going to be really cool because i've never made one of those before and i'm looking forward to it and most of the costume frankly is done that's just like the last missing piece so that would be cool to do in a video. So hopefully you guys stick around so you can check out some of the cool projects that I'm working on, things that are upcoming that I can't yet talk about. As soon as I can talk about them, you guys will be the first to know. I'm trying so hard to be more consistent with this now, but oh, the struggle is real and so is the hustle. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in yet again for another video. I appreciate you being here as always. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up if you like what you see or you're feeling these ideas or maybe just want me to do more vlog style videos. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out. Bye. <laughs>